probably don't consider washing your hands to be a very fun thing to do, but that's not stopping our next guest from adding a little humor to your hand washing routine, which is especially helpful when we all are doing it so often. Braxton Saxer is the CEO of Braxton's Bubble Company, and he's here to show us how to make what he calls a snope globe to hopefully make washing your hands a little more enjoyable. Welcome, Braxton. Hi. We are so glad to have you and your creativity back in the studio today. First, explain to me what a snope globe is. So, so what a snope globe is, is it's like, um, so it has funny humor, so we have funny humor on it, and then on the inside we make it look like a snow globe. So these little funny humor sayings, where are you getting these ideas from? Do you come up with them yourself? So I usually come up with them, and then either then I look on signs, and then I change them to something even funnier. So mine, back humor. mine says to wash or not to wash. Why is that even a question? Let's go to one. We have some right here. What is your favorite saying that you've done? I would say my favorite saying is, Alexa, flush the toilet. Oh, wait, <laughs> you have to do that. <laughs> so why add humor to the bathroom? Well, most people are like, um, they, when they're washing their hands, they, don't, they get really bored. So just why not add some humor? Yeah, that's so much fun. OK, so let's get to this. You're going to teach me how to make my own snow globe. Yep. What do I need to create this? So you'll need a mason jar, and then um, a recycled pump jar. So what you would first do is cu um, cut off the top of the bottle, and then, um, and then you would cut the bottom off, and then you would split the two parts in half. Okay. And then, what? And then, um, you can. Well, you can also drill it with the metal lid, but it's really easy to op slice open hands. So. We're just going to stick with plastic. Yeah, I don't want to mm -hmm. slice open any fingers today. <laughs> yeah. So this part, obviously, is when we're done. Then we need the pump. But yeah. what's going on in here? I already have some stuff in mind, some little yeah. gem rocks and some, what are these white little flakes in there? Um, cosmetic litter. Oh, OK. So what you would do in here is just add something like to make it look like a snow globe, like those gnomes or the Legos. So can I do this right now? Yeah. Okay, I want to add a gnome. And I just drop it in? Yeah. You can add, we usually put about two or three in there. Okay. I'm going to put this in. What are these flowers for? Oh, you're adding Legos. Yeah. The flowers you can also add in there. Okay, do I just put the whole thing in or do I need to pull off the petals? You, you can put the whole thing in. Okay. We're going to add a little flower. So it's looking yeah. good already. Yeah. So then the next thing you would do for the pump is take part of the plastic like this. You would trace this here with a marker. The lid part? Yeah. So then it would do that, and then you would cut that out. Um, and then you would also trace this part into right here so this could fit up inside. And okay. then once you're done with that, it would look like this. A lot easier than having to yeah. cut through that metal part. Uh huh. And then when you get it finished, you would put the top in like that, and then you would screw this part on. Get get it in there, and then screw the lid on top. You are so smart, Braxton. And I like the clear jars, too, so you can see what's going on. Yeah. So after we have whatever we are going to put in our jar, I mean, you have a variety of things going yeah. on here that we can see. What are we putting in for the actual washing, the soap part, the hand sanitizer part? What mixture is going in? So we, we just put regular soft soap, but we don't have soap here, so. Right. Yeah. So you just put that but, in there? But, yeah. So, yeah. And then that's, and then you would also be able to, pick one of your own funny humors. It's just made on a cricket, and then it's vinyl cutting, so. I want to read a few more of these humor sayings, humorous sayings. You never know what you have until it's gone. Like toilet paper, for instance. <laughs> I love these. And you come up with this? Not your mom, not your dad? Well, they sometimes help a tiny bit. Home, where you poop most comfortably. 
<laughs> Ain't that the truth? I can't see the rest of them, but those are good. Do you see it? Please remain seated during the entire performance. <laughs> Is there one that you do you keep reusing? <laughs> do you keep reusing these, or do you have a new saying for every single one? We we keep reusing them, so because. Uh, most people like a certain saying, and then when it's sold out, they would never get it again, so right. we reuse it. Okay. Same. So right now, obviously, you're a little entrepreneur, yeah. but you do have school as well, so being at home right now, what has your day been like? How are you liking it? It's been um, not the funnest thing, mm -hmm. but it's still a good day. Why, yeah. why, don't, why don't you have fun staying home? Well, the first thing is, is that um, you're not really at school where your teacher is teaching you all day because mm -hmm. that's a lot easier than having um, parents figure it out to you because they're not as good as a teacher. Right. Have you had more time, though, to work on your different creations? I mean, you have a variety yeah. of different things. Yeah. I, are you working on anything new? Well, we are donating hand sanitizer to homeless and organizations, which we kind of did last night. So we are kind of doing that. And we, are you we, making this hand sanitizer yourself? Yeah. Yeah. We, we are not selling it, though, because we just want to donate it to the homeless. Yeah. So what are some places you went to last night? Uh, we didn't go anywhere. We just made stuff. Okay. Yep. So where they usually go is usually to the helpline. And so, then they'll yeah. give it out. Okay, and did you also do this last week? What? Or just last night? Did you do it last night, make them? How many yes. do you think you've made? We've made a little bit over 500, I bet. 500, that is incredible. So you've been busy. Yes. Even though you're at home, you've been very busy and helping out the community. So thank you so much for bringing this in. This yeah. is so much fun, I love it. Well, and also we are doing no contact deliveries. Okay. You can find me on Etsy or Facebook, and then a small portion of what I make goes to Paisley Pond Boutique because their stores are closed. Awesome. Thank you so much, Braxton. Yeah. Well, have a bubbly day. <laughs>